Hey, I'm Cameron, and I'm going to give you a comprehensive review of the 2020 Chrysler um, Pacifica plug-in hybrid. Hopefully answer some of the questions that you may have. I for sure had some questions um, when looking, so I'm going to answer those right now. If you have any other questions that I don't answer, go ahead and comment, and I will try to respond to those if I have any knowledge to give. Here it is. It is on. It is in electric mode. It's uh, pretty quiet. Here is the electric plug-in uh, jack right here, and I'll show you how that plugs in in just a second. In no way is this meant to replace the instruction manual. I'm just giving you guys a look-see at the vehicle from a person that's bought it and a very happy customer. No, you do not need a special plug to buy and plug in the electric hybrid. So here is my setup. Here is the battery charger. And this is literally a three prong plug that you just plug into the wall. This is the charging block very quickly. There are three lights here. They're all green, which means it is charging. It's ready to go. If this light is red, that means there's an issue with this power source, the power source uh, coming from here. And it's this one or this one, I cannot remember. But one of these, if those are red, um, that means that there's an issue with the power source at the van. In the vehicle when it's charging, it will show you how long it's going to take to charge. If you did have the special plug-in, it would charge much more quickly. Someone who has driven the vehicle for almost two years, I can tell you that I have almost never needed the level two charging system to charge within two hours if you get the level two charging you can charge it much more quickly however with our commute um, i have almost run solely electric and never needed that very quick two hour um, reboot i'm going to turn on the vehicle i am turning it on with it plugged in that is allowed and on the dash here you do have two um dials so your first dial here is um, going to show you your hybrid information so whenever you're going forward this is showing you the amount of power that's exerted to move the vehicle forward whenever you brake it charges the battery so energy is either moving out or it's moving in and it'll show you the amount of charge since i'm plugged in right now uh, it is off but if i were to unplug this would move to zero ready to go okay so i am plugged now you can see that we are ready to go if i were to go forward if we go here break it would charge over here on this side that is your gas dial right here is your uh, percentage of battery charged and your estimated range um, and again this can vary depending on the climate that you're in if you're running the air conditioner a whole bunch it's going to change your range um, same thing with heat so keep that in mind up here I have my average miles per gallon that's pretty average for my commute and everything the highest I've gotten is 53 I think 53 or 54 and then this is my estimated gas range if I were just running gas this right here um, this is another way to view this is an electric way to view um, or digital way to view this dial right here um, and I like this because it will show you on the um, inner ring that is uh, the gas when the gas kicks on so this entire outer ring is the battery so again it's starting right up here in the middle you can see that little bit of teal showing you a little bit of battery is being used right now to power the vehicle and um, the more you drive of course it'll show the more energy required now uh, when the gas engine kicks on you'll see a dark blue color that will fill in that half circle it is a half circle because there is no other power it doesn't charge going back there is no way to officially run this vehicle purely electric there is no button that you can press to just run electric however this vehicle defaults to using all of the battery energy before it will have the gas engine kick on um, and when it does it is very seamless you do not notice it you will hear it but you do not notice anything within your acceleration whenever the gas engine turns on one more thing when you accelerate very quickly um sometimes even when you have battery uh like i do here if i were to be merging onto the interstate and have to gun it 
my power once my battery power exceeds this line that's when the gasoline engine will kick on and um, it'll run for a minute or two and then it'll shut off and just run electric until that battery is all the way down this thing right here is the energy coach that just shows you whenever you stay within the green range as you're driving, that means you're using your energy in the most conservative way to get the most out of your vehicle's mileage. If you accelerate and stuff very quickly and go in the orange and red, it's just showing you that, hey, um, you're not being as efficient with the vehicle. This dashboard is totally customizable with this button. You literally can go up and um, Okay, I just got an oil change, I need to change that. But you can go through and it'll tell you songs, it'll tell you uh, trip information, vehicle information, here's the hybrid information. Um, oh, and this is cool too. Again, you're going side to side, it'll show you different things. There's another efficiency coach, shows me my range, total miles, blah, blah, blah driver assist i love the vehicle info because it shows us tire pressure and all the things if you're like me and spend most of your time uh, doing in-town commutes and you do have gasoline in your car like i do right now i have three quarters of a tank don't worry um i've gone six months without um refilling the gas in my car and this van has a computer and sensor that will automatically turn on. You don't have to do anything. It will turn on, it will rotate the fuel so that it doesn't go bad within your engine. Once you run out of battery, it does uh, have the gasoline engine kick on. However, this vehicle is a hybrid engine. It never runs solely on gasoline. So it will always be using some type of electric um, um, battery. But the cool thing about it is, is that it defaults to using that um, almost fully electric mode first and uses that first and then works in conjunction with the gasoline. You can check a lot of stats on the hybrid electric engine by going to the apps on the van. So if I go to hybrid electric, here this shows you the energy flowing from the battery, um, three kilowatts and then um, one for climate. If I go to driving history, um, this is showing battery and engine. And you can see that I have used battery for, I mean, these two weeks. If I could go back, I'm telling y'all, most of the time I use battery. That's for my in-town commutes. When we go longer trips, of course, we will have engine uh, that will show up in blue at the top of these. They do offer a charging schedule. I'm not really sure why you would need a charging schedule. Um, since when you plug it in, you know, you just want to charge it. I don't get that. But anyway, they do have that option. Our electric bill has pretty much stayed exactly the same. We have not noticed a difference um, in the almost two years of having this vehicle and plugging it in. Um, maybe a couple dollars more, but not enough for us to notice anything or for it to affect our budget. This vehicle does qualify for a tax credit. The tax credit for the Chrysler Pacifica hybrids from 2017 on to 2022 is currently $7,500. The way that the tax credit works is that um, you can earn up to $7,500 um, on your rebate. However, if your tax rebate exceeds $7,500, you will qualify for zero of that tax credit. It is just a tax credit for um, up to the amount that you could get back. I will link the IRS website where it lists the uh, Chrysler Pacifica as a qualifying vehicle for the uh, tax credit. It is $7,500. As of today, June 16th, the tax credit is still available. They list um, the vehicles that are not available anymore. Like a lot of the Teslas, the um, tax credit is unavailable. I will also link the um, form that you have to file with your taxes in order to qualify for that tax credit. Um, I, I found before the percentage of vehicles that had been purchased um, and, and the way the IRS works is once it goes up to that number, then it's done, but this tax credit is still available. I think I found the numbers on the Chrysler website. I'll try to, I'll post that too. Um, the amount of Chrysler Pacific hybrids that have been sold. Someone asked, how often do I buy gas? I hardly buy gas. I hardly buy gas. Um, I buy it when we do go on um, trips that, that are further than just like an in, 
in town commute. I will have to purchase gas. But um, when we moved and I was doing just commutes and stuff, I'm telling you, I went like six months, half a year without purchasing any gas. So you don't have to spend that much on gas, which is nice. I hope this helps you make a more informed decision about um, purchasing the hybrid van, purchasing the Chrysler Pacifica. We have truly loved it. Um, and again, if you have any more questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments. If I have answers, I will comment. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. You can always like and subscribe. This is not my normal content, but anyway, thanks for being here and thanks for watching. Let me show you how it drives really quick. I have 1% left. The backup camera is really nice. Okay, I'm in an empty parking lot. Hopefully this doesn't lose focus, but I'm gonna accelerate. And look, you can see the gas engine kicked on. And immediately, you saw the gas there. I braked and it charged, it went that way. Um, and then my battery is showing less than 1%. There we go. And then when I, let me turn and accelerate a little bit. So if I go forward like this, let's see. Yeah, the gas has not kicked on yet. Here we go, and that's how it works. Yay. And of course, if I had more battery, it would show the electric uh, going forward and then back for charging when I break. Um, but anyway, I was at the end. I wanted to show y'all how it does work as a dual um, hybrid engine as well and does default to the electric again. Any questions, throw them in the comments, and thanks for watching.